we want to simplify the given expressions. We first have negative six x to the zero raised to the fifth. Inside the parentheses we have negative six times x to the zero, but we know x to the zero is equal to one, so this is equal to negative six times one raised to the fifth. But of course negative six times one is just negative six, so this simplifies to negative six raised to the fifth power. Let's evaluate this on the calculator. So open parenthesis, negative six, close parenthesis, raised to the fifth, enter. We have negative 7,776. Next we have negative three t raised to the third minus three t to the third. So looking inside the parentheses here, negative three t means negative three times t, or more specifically, negative three to the first times t to the first. All this is being raised to the third power, and since we have powers raised to powers, we multiply the exponents. So this would be equal to the base of negative three raised to the power of one times three. Notice how the negative coefficient is in parentheses and then raised to the appropriate power. And then we have t raised to the power of one times three, which is t to the third. And then we have minus three t to the third. Next, negative three raised to the third is negative three times negative three times negative three. So we have negative 27 t to the third minus three t to the third. And notice here we have two like terms. Notice how the variable parts are exactly the same. So we can perform the subtraction by subtracting the coefficients and leaving the variable part exactly the same. So negative 27 t cubed minus three t cubed is equal to negative 30 t cubed, or if we want t to the third. So we have negative 30 t to the third. Next we have eight n to the zero plus five n to the zero. The thing to be careful about here is that eight n to the zero means eight times n to the zero, or more specifically, eight to the first times n to the zero, and then five n to the zero means five to the first times n to the zero. The exponent of zero here is only attached to the n. So simplifying, we know n to the zero is equal to one, so this simplifies to eight times one plus five times one, or just eight plus five, which equals 13. So the thing to be careful about on this problem is that the exponent of zero in both cases is only attached to the base of n, not the coefficients. And for our last example, we have the quantity nine x squared plus four x plus seven divided by three, all raised to the zero power. And we know any non-zero base raised to the zero power is equal to one, so there's no reason to try to simplify inside the parentheses. We know all of this will equal one. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.